my favorite food. I was raised on a lot of it, in fact, growing up in Texas. But now here to help me uh, kind of take it a step further is Jeff Brian Hulahi from Roaring Fork. And you're going to be making a, a pork belly, which is probably the most flavorful and just Juicy Good, goodness, it just juicy. Falls yeah, actually, melts in your mouth. I mean, pork belly is uh, actually bacon. It's uh, bacon before it becomes bacon. It's bacon before bacon was cool. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. You know. So what we have is, here is this our, our raw piece of bacon, okay. pork belly, and we're going to prepare it by uh, scoring it here. And that's just putting marks inside the fat here so it kind of renders down as we cook. <clears throat> Use a kind of a, a chef -y term. What do you mean by renders down? Well, it just cooks the, as, uh, you know, heat It's going to be able to go in. Right. It's going to cook down. It's going to, um, it's actually going to crisp up a lot easier. Okay. Because it has spaces to, you know, melt. So when we have any kind of meat, whether it's pork belly or otherwise, if we've got that layer of fat on top, is that yeah, the Yeah, I mean, we, you do it a lot. You see it a lot in uh, duck, duck breast, because okay. duck breast is a really fatty uh, skin. So you just cut this up here, and then uh, we're going to season it up. Let's do it. All right, we have uh, our spices here, and it's, it smells delicious. This is uh, What's dark, brown stuff? dark brown sugar, okay. salt, red pepper flakes, uh, allspice, and uh, coriander and a little bit of cumin. Mm. Okay, delicious. And you're just going to generously just just rub it all over the place. I'm always so surprised what a rub can do <laughs> because it kind of seems like it would just fall off. You know, like the, it would be kind of an accident. Well, yeah. Obviously, I'm making a mess here, but that's okay. But I mean, in the cooking process, I'm always surprised how you know penetrated the flavor. Oh becomes. yeah. Well, that's why you put so much on it and you kind of just push it just into push the it meat. In. Uh huh. In my mind, I guess marinades like that in my mind makes sense because you can, you know, you can see that it's in there. And it actually gets in. in there. Yeah. Well, once it starts to cook, you know, everything will just start to melt, and, it, that's, and then, that's and it then you're going to have all this liquid just kind of just basting. You were generous with belly. that. That's good to know. Definitely. Okay. Never too much. All right. So we're going. This is all basically ready to go. Okay. We're going to put it into onto our resting rack here, and we're going to put it into the oven for about two and a half hours. Slow. Slow at about 225 degrees. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And basically, is set it and forget it. Now, it's once that's done, the options really kind of open up in the way we can use it and prepare it, right. and honestly reuse it after we've even prepared. Oh, you, dish, right? it has lots of uses. Like tonight or today, we're gonna serve it over some collard greens. But you can definitely chop it up and put it in uh, in the uh, Put in a pan and make it all crispy. Uh -huh. Put in some, some salads or um, some vegetables, or you can just eat it by itself. I think the last time I had it, it was in um, it was in a couscous, like with a bunch of vegetables, and it was right. chopped up right. like little diced up mm -hmm. little pieces. Or you can put so in good. some soups or sauces. Beans. My mom beans. put in beans when I was growing yeah. up. Anything you want to add flavor to? I mean, That's pork it. is. The best. It's the ultimate flavor. It's the ultimate flavor enhancer. Okay, well, coming up in our next segment, I want to talk about these collard greens. I was asking you, are, you know, are they bitter? Do, you know, are, what, are they tangy? Because I haven't really had them. Yeah. Oh, well, it's part of the cabbage fun family, so it's a little bit bitter, but we're going to add some more flavor, is uh, add some of this ham hock here. Okay. Some smoked ham hocks. Well, and, and I like the anise, too, so yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Most I'm in. definitely. And you're just gonna, we're going to simmer that, and you, we'll see that in our next segment. All right. Sounds good. Don't go anywhere, anywhere Brian. All right. <laughs> we still have a lot more here in the kitchen.